Hello everyone, and welcome back to Jesse Heck Creative. This time we're going over every single Wolverine that I have in a classic costume. Before we begin, make sure to like this video, subscribe to Jesse Heck Creative, hit the bell icon for more creativity, and leave a comment answering the question, which of these Wolverines has the best outfit? Now let's get to it. So here we have the Wendigo X-Force Wolverine from 2019, and I think he looks pretty neat. I'm not a big fan of this color scheme though, it looks more evil than good to me. At least, I like the X-Force sort of team when they're more in white and black, instead of gray and black and red. This can make me think of an evil kind of Wolverine, that's what I use it for now. I took off the claws, which are honestly the best part of him that I don't need anymore, at least giving it to other Wolverines, but this body now I use for a sort of grunt soldier for the evil army of the Shadow King, and they're sort of clones of Wolverine and make my own storyline and yada yada. And I just realized this <laughs> has a misprint. It's missing paint. Wow, that's that's sad, Hasbro. Thanks a lot for that. Let me see what my other Wolverines have. Let me check what I got. Yeah, they have paint over here and that one's missing paint. So now I gotta find another one and make my army a little better. That's a bummer. That's a real shame. Wow. So, yeah, um, this is a little army of just Shadow Wolverines, I guess, and they work for the Shadow King, and I need a few more of them, maybe. I usually cap out to 16, but maybe I'll just do fours on these guys, but yeah, it's a good figure, not the best. You can see that I took all the claws off of each of them. It has the same articulation that you would need for a regular Wolverine body, so welcome to that. There's a couple scuffs on the sides of the legs, which is a usual problem for this guy. I just use it for my sort of evil army kind of thing. And yeah, they're good figures, they're not great. I like the color scheme kind of as an evil faction, but for good guys, not really. I have my own sort of X-Force team that I use at least. But yeah, there's hair over here, the paint is sort of pretty bare, and it's just sort of a bare bones figure. So aside from the claws that are great, moving on. Next up is the 2021 Wolverine brown suit version from the Tricentinal Wave. And I like this figure, I don't love it. There's a chip right here already. I've already reviewed this guy recently in my Tricentinal Wave review, so I'll make this kind of quick. The claws are dark gray, which are great. This head smile is pretty creepy and weird. This bearded head isn't really useful to me, so I don't know. <laughs> it's a toss-up. I have it just because it was in the wave and I had to review it. And maybe I'll give these claws to a new one or something. Who knows? But the claws really stay in really well. They're not, you know, wobbly and freaky anymore. They've fixed the engineering on that. The paint is good, at least on him. The sculpt is pretty good. It's... I don't know if I like these short ears. I don't know why they gave this head a beard. If they switched the heads and they gave this beard to this head, with a smile and kept this grumpy or something or maybe change it out it would be way better but they had to sort of ruin it and they're probably gonna release it way down the line with a new head sculpt or something and we're all gonna have to get it and the hairs on here aren't that great either they look like worms it's just kind of strange to me it's a lackluster wolverine and honestly it's kind of sad they put this out it's not the best figure at least I forgot where I put it in the uh, ranking probably high but upon reflection over really maybe a month or so maybe a few weeks yeah it's not my favorite Wolverine at least and as far as the whole bunch goes yeah it looks like a darker Wolverine on the camera which is weird it's brighter in person so that's kind of a point against it I don't know I'm not really sure I don't know I just wish I could transplant this over here I don't know why these are short it bothers me a lot the claws are great the colors are pretty okay. Moving on. So here's Wolverine from the Apocalypse Wave in 2018. It's our first classic Wolverine we've gotten. It is a very sort of cheese colored, cheese whiz kind of yellow. Not my favorite. The head sculpt is great on this one. I really like that. I like the sheen on this. That's pretty cool. I like the coloring at least. I just wish it was in a brighter yellow and it's been replaced by a new one recently. So I don't need this guy anymore. He has no hair on here. And he has hair in the other ones, I guess. It's good. It's not, like, absolutely great. I like the X on here. The It works out really well with the articulation. Really nice. These, you know, these can move, which is really cool. I don't know why they would want to move, but you have to work with the arm, I guess. 
That's pretty nice. Take it open and shut. The head sculpt is really fine. I like that sort of sneering look. It's really good and very classic Wolverine. I like these boots. They have the same motif as the little sort of points over here on his head and his boots. It's a good Wolverine, not the best Wolverine. It comes with these spare hands that are just plain without the claws. I gave him these claws from that Wolverine we saw, the Shadow Wolverine that I called the X-Force one. And I'm going to keep these on him, I think, forever. They're really great. They're, they're straight on. you got to heat it up and then you're fine. It's a really it's a really good set of claws on him. I love them a lot. This is not my favorite Wolverine in the bunch, as you can probably tell, because I have a bunch more. But I gotta say that it's a good start. It was a springboard, because the more things Hasbro makes, the more figures that Hasbro can make in the long run, because they make this one, then they retool it and sell it to you again with the hair, and eventually they can make a perfect one, but they're never gonna make a perfect one, are they? But yeah, it's a good Wolverine, a good start, but not the best out of the bunch so far. Hello everyone, and thank you so much for watching so far. Make sure to click like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. You can also click the bell icon for more creativity. Now let's get back to it. In concept, this would be my favorite Wolverine. It has everything you need as far as Wolverine, yet it doesn't hit the mark once again. Now let's go over this guy. Okay, so... I'll, right away, this is way too dark. It should be a little brighter, and I think that's kind of eh. These arms are terrible. I don't know if he has a tan or some kind of thing, or some kind of weird tan issue, but this is just atrocious. I remember reading somewhere they said they're trying to paint the hair on the arms, but it came out of some weird tan. If they left this off, this guy would be almost perfect. Almost. The coloration on this could be a little better. The Bright shiny thing could be a little better on this. Honestly, if you swapped parts between these two, it actually probably could work. Wait a minute. Take the yeah, actually it could probably work. If you just swap those arms and hands and stuff. That might be okay, yeah. You could just take that off and Huh. Maybe some kip bashing later on might do. I can't take this piece off though, but just to change the coloring, eh. Whatever. But they're basically the same figure in a way. Just this one's the brighter yellow and this one's the more cheesy yellow. Moving on to accessories, though, he comes with bone claws. They're really neat. That's really nice. I like the color on them. They're really they're jagged and weird, and I can't tell if they, they don't have any paint on them, but the shadowing makes for a nice paint. It's a nice touch. They're very sort of misshapen. He comes with this really great head with some sort of just marks of damage on the top where his hair is poking out. Very angry, pained look. That's wonderful. A couple bites and nips out of his little ear pieces. That's amazing. I like that a lot. This head is just trash. I hate it. And it should be thrown in the dumpster forever. It's a really weird expression on his face. Why would they think this would be a good thing? I appreciate the green of his eyes, but yeah, and this cowl, we'll see, we'll see later, but it's a good cowl for him and it works. Good Wolverine. Just bad execution. I think this is one of the first Wolverines I ever got and it stands the test of time as my favorite. I, there wasn't a Wolverine way back when in a different wave. I think the Deadpool wave maybe. It was just regular Wolverine, a little darker than this. But I wasn't a fan of the dark colors and I like this one way better. So yeah, this is the one of the quintessential brown suit Wolverines that I have. I love the hair on him. It looks really nice, understated. The gray too, that's pretty neat. The brown is a sort of chestnut kind of brown. That's great on him. I love the belt and sort of like the artic the or detail on that it's great the head is wonderful this head comes from the previous Wolverine at least it's a little darker in color and you can kind of get where that I'm going with that but this head is way better and than this one it comes with this head which reminds me a lot of Andy Serkis and I kind of like because of that it's a very nice Wolverine head now that I look it up close in the camera viewfinder and this is just great I love the sort of just not like nasty expression where he's just grumpy about everything and that's how Wolverine should be, grumpy about everything. That's wonderful. The claws probably need to be replaced and as I said before, I could probably take the claws from that other Wolverine and put on this one, but these actually are not from this Wolverine, they're from a different one, so I don't know. I've been swapping around claws for Wolverines and they're probably all different or whatever, but I like this Wolverine a lot, he's really great. Just seeing how he looks on with the other head. The cowl is really nice on this one. 
because it comes with the eye hole colors in it too. Porting that on, a little tricky. Hmm. It's getting on. There we go. I think it's on. Yeah, looks great. Really nice Wolverine. The cow looks great in the back, and he looks pretty cool. I love this Wolverine a lot. He's great, but there's one Wolverine that's way better for me at least. So you're probably going to be all, wait, what? Why is this your favorite Wolverine, Jesse? And I'm like, oh, let me explain. So this Wolverine came with Hulk, which is a plus. This Wolverine has lighter colors, which is a plus. Uh, this head is just kind of horrible and kind of funny at the same time. Very cat-like for some reason. And okay, uh, whatever, yeah. But my favorite thing to do with Marvel Legends is Kit Bash. So you'll excuse me, I'll be back in just a few moments with something that would make this guy a 10 out of 10. There. Put that on. There we go. This is my Wolverine. This is the quintessential Wolverine for me. I don't need the bone claws. I don't need anything else. I am perfectly fine with this guy as is. I like these little tiny, really cute kind of little shoulder pads and they're great while I do wish they came in a different color or something this is Wolverine for me he's awesome he's classic looking he's brightly colored he pops out at you and he's also a kit bash I love this guy to death he's a really great Wolverine I think he's super duper cool and with that then now I can have a separate Wolverine as far as this guy goes by taking off the other hands over here swapping on the bone claws over here and then getting the other head on while I still can getting that other head on because the hands are kind of been really hard to move and now we have a Wolverine with bone claws versus a Wolverine without we have our battle damage kind of guy over here right and then we have our other sort of cleaner fresh in the battle Wolverine so yeah, I really like these Wolverines. Pretty much they're the same kind of character to me. I really don't like this head that much. It's kind of crummy. And these hands I don't really need that much. I already have them on this guy. And these hands are just a bonus. I like having these other hands too. They're great. It completely blows the other Wolverines out of the water for me, this one. I like it a lot. I like how classic he looks. He can go well with your X-Men team. and. The spare head thing is great. I appreciate this Wolverine, respect it. If we could have it in these colors, I would definitely get it. With this head at least. That would be perfect for me. We have some brighter colors and yeah, just Wolverine. We all love him, we all know him, we all get him whenever he comes out. Once, twice, three times a year. I think 2019 was looking a benchmark for him, it's nuts. But yeah, that was the Wolverine from the Hulk 2-pack. All the Wolverines stand at about five and a half inches tall, maybe five and three quarters with those big ears of his. Poor Shorty over here, but I love you still. Here's half the Wolverines next to Jesse Heck Creative. And here's the other half of the Wolverines next to Jesse Heck Creative. Shh, I'm gonna sell these on the internet while they're asleep. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Jesse Heck Creative. Feel free to click like, subscribe, share, or leave a comment. You can also visit us at jesseheckcreative.com where you'll find more reviews like this one. Thanks again for watching and keep being creative. Stay tuned!